Hello guys, this is Lydia, the lifestyle coach ender of eating disorders using nothing but your brain. And so fun to see you guys on today for another live feed. So we're going to talk about something essential and probably a question that you have asked yourself for days and days over years. And that is, why is nothing working? When I try so hard, when I put my whole heart into us, when I absolutely make these declarations, when I make these promises to myself, when things get really bad with my eating, why is nothing working? And this can be with your overeating. This could be with your binge eating. This could be with bulimia. This could be with obsessing about your body all day. It could be with thinking about food all day, wondering when you're going to eat, wondering if you ate the right thing, wondering, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that, what you're going to do to make up for it, feeling like you need to keep on going back and you know, working and exercising to make up for what you did. This cycle that gets worse and worse over the years, why is it that the harder that we try, the worse it gets? So I am just going to be just flat out honest with you guys today about the real reason why nothing you're doing is working. And the reason that I'm calling it the secret reason why nothing is working is because a lot of times we don't even see this happening. We think that it's all great and you know we really need to focus on this. But the secret reason it's not working is over here and a lot of us aren't looking at it. So after today, you guys are going to be able to see that and you're going to be able to see it clearly. So fun to see you guys on. Hi, this is Lydia, the lifestyle coach. Hi. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing to understand is a metaphor with why nothing that you're doing is working. And that is the cycle of battered women's syndrome and an abusive relationship. We're going to break this down and you guys are going to see exactly how this represents what's happening so you guys can see the thing that has been holding you back from really being done with this. So there are three phases in this cycle of an abusive relationship. The first phase is the tension building, right? Like the tension is building and it's slowly increasing and you're in this horrible abusive relationship with somebody who is just having that tension of like you feel like something's off and something's wrong and things are just getting worse and worse, right? Then the second thing is the battering phase where over time the tension grows and then it's a conflict and then there is a victim and there's somebody who's abusing that person and you're in a relationship where somebody is like physically hurting you and it becomes really severe and it's so bad. It's so bad that that person wants to get out of the relationship. They've got to remove themselves from that. And then, and this is part of the cycle. I want you guys to understand this. This is part of the cycle. It, the honeymoon phase. The honeymoon phase where the abuser says, I'm so sorry, so apologetic. How could I have ever done that? And the person who was battered and abused says, oh gosh, things are different this time. Oh, you know, I want to go back to this person. Oh, you know what? This, there's all of these great things about this person. They, they slipped up. You know, things went badly. Yes, I got hurt, but I know that they didn't mean it. And the cycle starts over again. Is this sounding familiar? Think of your cycle with food. The tension is building. Oh, everything was great, but man, like it's okay to just have a little bit of this. And you know, normal people have dessert. Oh, and that's fine. And oh gosh, you know, I can't believe that I ate too much of that. I'm gonna have to do something else about it. Oh, I just think I need some more structure. Oh, oh I'm, I'm off the wagon. Why am I off the wagon? I don't understand this. Like I worked so hard and I worked so hard all day to eat totally clean. And now look, here I am at midnight and I'm doing crackers and cheese and yogurt after yogurt. And this is way too far and I've totally blown it. And then the battering phase when things get really bad and you're binging every single day, and it's like you're completely out of control, and you wake up in the morning, and you're like, I know that uh, what's gonna happen. I know that on the way home, I'm gonna get ice cream, and I'm going to eat it all, and I'm going to hide this from everyone, and I'm gonna feel awful, and it's almost like you're driven to feel awful. It's like, I'm just gonna go, and you feel out of control, and you feel bad about what you're doing, but it doesn't stop you from doing it. And you're starting with maybe the healthy stuff and then you're getting a little less healthy and you're sandwich after sandwich and peanut butter and jelly and, you know, just one more spoonful of peanut butter. And then it's like, well, if I'm really going to do it, then I'm really going to do it and screw it. And so you just go into the pantry and then you start making whatever you want and standing up and eating quickly. And then 
the honeymoon phase. I'm never going to do that again. Never going to do that. I was understandable. I was under so much stress. I just, I can't do that anymore. But this, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. I'm never going to do that again. Because now, this morning, I have everything in place. Everything in place. I'm going to make my meals. I'm going to plan my day. I'm going to stay on track. I'm going to manage my emotions. I'm going to take a bath tonight. And when I want to go and binge, I'm going to walk the dog. And that's going to be the thing that saves me. And everything is going to be great. And I have this perfect plan. And for the next 21 days, I'm going to stick to it. And everything is going to be perfect. And gosh, I understand why I did that before. And that was really, you know, it was confusing. And that was, wasn't okay. But look at all these great things. I'm going to go back because you know what? This thing worked before. This thing was great. This is what I truly need to stay on track. It's the same cycle. It's that optimism. It's that everything is going to be different. It's the thing that you think is the good part. When you're making promises to yourself, when you're saying things are going to be better, when you're saying, I'm never going to do that again, when you're making these big declarations, when you're making these plans, when you're making these meal plans, when you're throwing stuff out of your house, when you're putting food in the garbage, when you're saying, I'm never going to buy that again, you think that's the good part. But that is the first part of going back into the cycle over and over and over. It's this chronic optimism that is literally part of the cycle that starts the next binge. These big declarations and promises. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm really sorry. And the thing that kills women whether it's their eating disorder or whether it's somebody beating them up that they that should love them, is that it escalates. The battering gets way worse, but you know what? So does the honeymoon face. He's never been so apologetic. He's never been so committed. He's never been so sweet. I can really see that a change is happening here. And it's the very thing that we do to ourselves when we have an eating disorder. I've never been so committed to staying with my diet. I've never been so committed to never binging again. I've never been so concerned about my health. This is going to be the time, and I'm going to go back to the same thing that has failed me 25 times, but this time it's going to be different. I just need more structure. I just can't have this food in the house anymore. I just know I need to lose the weight first. I need to lose the weight first. I need to lose the weight first. <gasps> Julie, thank you for letting me know about my noisy earrings. I didn't know they were so noisy. I will take them out. Thank you, guys. This is very, very helpful. So you put these things in place of what you've tried over and over and over before, and then you put them in place in this honeymoon phase of like, okay, well, now I'm committed. I'm just going to lose the weight first, and that's going to change everything. Now I'm committed. I'm just not going to have this food in the house. Now I'm committed. I just need more structure. Now I'm committed. I just can't get stressed and emotional like that anymore. Okay. Are you guys having trouble hearing me? Let's see. All right. I want you guys to give me a thumbs up if you can hear me better now. I'm not sure what's happening with the audio, if it was just my earrings, but now my earrings are gone. All right, can you hear me? Better now, yes! Thank you, Julie, awesome. Okay. And the thing is, is that we trick ourselves into thinking that it's working because you're working, because you're working so hard, because you're working to exhaustion, because in this honeymoon phase, when you're making these big declarations to yourself, you've never listened to so many podcasts, and you've never been involved in so many videos, and you've never spent so much time reading, and you've never made an audible book order that big before with all of the books about how to end binge eating, and you've never put so much into your meal planning. Like, this is something that you trick yourself into thinking that something must be working because you are working so hard. And we pacify ourselves with something is going to click because I just keep working harder. So something must now, right? So if you're in an abusive relationship with yourself and you keep on going through the cycle over and over and going back to the things that don't work, 
it's not about never having a relationship again, right? Like we don't tell somebody who's in an abusive, you know, relationship to never have a relationship again. Here's the key. You have to stop going back to the relationship that is killing you. That's it. You've got to stop going back to the same abusive relationship. You've got to say, it's not working. I've got to do something different. You can't go back to the same thing. And you know what? If you guys are in a bad relationship with food, it's not your fault you got into that, most likely. It's something that you went on a restrictive diet. You got put on a diet when you were nine years old by your mom who was having her own eating disorder. However you got into this, however it started, doesn't matter. It's probably not your fault. But going back into that abusive relationship is. And when you take full ownership of that, of that you are now perpetuating it, and that you now have responsibility, that's actually an amazing opportunity for hope. And you've got to ask yourself, if you've been doing this cycle over and over, how long are you willing to go back to it? How long are you willing to, oh, I've just got to lose the weight first. Oh, I'm going to do everything right today. Oh, you know what? Well, I'm just going to have my nail plan in place. Oh, I just need to never get stressed. How many years have you tried that? How long are you willing to go back into this relationship until it kills you? That's how it works with an abusive relationship. The honeymoon phase gets more and more intense and the battering phase gets more and more intense. And then the cycle's broken because somebody dies. Your eating disorder will do that too. How long are you willing to wait to find out? How long are you willing to be in that cycle? Until the rapid weight gain starts and your metabolism breaks and you're gaining 10 pounds a week and you're unable to ever lose weight again until you get diagnosed with diabetes until you're injured and you can't exercise anymore and you can never exercise again because of all the years of overexercise that you've done. So this is the reason that nothing is working. It's because you keep on going back into this relationship and making these big declarations and today is going to be the day and you go back to the same things that have never worked before saying that something is going to be different. He's gonna be different this time. He really seems apologetic. He brought me flowers, he never brings me flowers. You're bringing yourself flowers, you're bringing yourself a fancy new diet. And that just means that every single time you go back to the cycle, the risk goes up and the cycle gets worse. You are reinforcing to your brain, this is what we wanna do, this is the pattern that we wanna have. And your brain will guard that like your life depends on it. Because you've showed your brain, this is what we want to do. We want to make big declarations, and then the tension builds, and then we binge, and then we make big declarations again. And even if it's something that's killing you, your brain will say, like, okay, I guess that's what we're doing. So you have to break the cycle, and you have to break the habit. That is the only way out. I am saying that with 100% confidence. We have helped thousands of women. After 45 years of this cycle, we have helped them to, in four or six weeks, end it for the rest of their lives. Because all it comes down to is breaking the cycle. Everything that we do is about change your brain, break the cycle, change your brain, break the cycle. It's not more information, it's transformation. It's what actually makes a difference. And doing that in a healthy relationship with yourself where you stop going back and lying to yourself over and over again. But I understand it, you guys. We have so many of you come to us saying, the reason that I keep doing the things, the reason that I did Weight Watchers 12 times, the reason that I keep on cutting out carbs, even though I'm heavier than I ever have been, is because I didn't know what else to do. What else is there to do? That is exactly why we offer free breakthrough sessions to you guys. You can have a free session with us where we are going to spend 90 minutes and we are going to see exactly what is happening in this cycle and show you exactly what you need to do to end it. Because each of you is an individual case. And so that is why we are willing to sit down with you and take that time because we are ending eating disorders one person at a time. And it's on an individual level to give you the specifics of what you need to break the cycle and get out of this abusive relationship with yourself. 
Now, I just want to be totally clear that this is not for everyone. You must be willing to show up for yourself. Please understand that if you sign up for a free session with us and you do not show up for yourself, that is taking an opportunity away from someone else who has been struggling and could die if they don't fix this right now. And this is something that we see so clearly through the data of the thousands of women that we've helped, that we cannot help you if you do not show up for yourself. Do not, show, do not sign up for a breakthrough session unless you are committed to showing up for yourself and doing what it takes. We're only looking for those who are committed, who want to be out of the cycle. That doesn't mean you have to do anything. Because you know how to be done doesn't mean that you have to be done. But do you want to go the rest of your life not knowing how to be done? Or would you like to know that? Would you like to know another way? Do not let this be another promise that you break to yourself. You can go to lifewithlydia.com slash apply, lifewithlydia.com slash apply. And there is a calendar page there. Find a time that works for you and guard that as the sacred time. We've had women say that this was the foundational step that ended their 40 years of binge eating. We have had people want, like the people who have begged to pay us for this session because it was one of the most valuable parts of time they have ever spent in their life in fixing their eating disorder. We're not going to take your money. This is a free session. We want it to be available to everyone to get you the foundation of freedom and what you need to have the foundation to be done for the rest of your life. But show up for yourself. Go to lifeoflydia.com slash apply. Grab a spot there. And this is the beginning of your journey. To get out of that abusive relationship with yourself and to be free for the rest of your life. So look at those cycles in your own life. And if this is something that you feel something here and this resonates with you and you truly want to be done, we would love to help you. So again, this is Lydia, the Lifestyle Coach, signing off. Bye, guys.